the, the key points that uh, you were just asking about, I tried to take some of these down, it's probably way too dense, but what these shows, I think we need system thinking, and this system thinking links directly to connectivities. We did see a bit on livability. Um, maybe I'm not going to look at all of them. You can you can read them. The other thing that I tried to take down while we were talking is questions of dualities, because I think there's also potentially conflicting topics. And we heard when we talked about new mobilities, uh, connectivity. But as we are shipping goods, we might be going against ideas of circularity. When we talk about cross-border collaboration, particularly in this very historic area, we're also potentially endangering local identities. We are talking about new lifestyles, but we also have a historic built environment. We talk about climate change, sea level rise, but we seem to keep the economic patterns. Will they actually stay? If everything else changes, maybe we need to rethink those, those foundations. Any of these practices can be opposing each other, which is why it is even more important to rethink them as a integrated system. And that gets me to the point of what maybe have we been missing in this discussion? So this whole idea of guiding values or ethics, how do we want to live and what does that mean on a larger level? You do have a lot already in the ground in the practices including, say, dissonant heritage. So there are even historic conflicts that we still have to, to overcome. And in the field of spatial planning, I really do think that we need to talk about questions of land ownership, of planning law, of planning tools. There's also this question from growth to shrinkage. Do we preview um, some of these ideas also for the future, or do we not care of them, which gets me back to this guiding idea of values and ethics. And I do think that the thinking it through the SDGs is very important because that allows us to speak a shared language. 